In this video, I'm going to show you the results of using gelatin as a clarifying agent post-fermentation. Now this is a topic that gets a lot of emotional response. Some folks think it's great. Some would ask, why would you ever do that? For me, I just like to have clear beer. Now let me check that. I like all beer. But the idea of a crisp, clean, perfectly clear beer it's something that always intrigued me, and I wondered if I could achieve these results myself. The process of using gelatin is pretty simple. You use basically unflavored Knox gelatin you can get at the supermarket. Each pack has about 8 grams in it. And that's important to know because the ratio of gelatin to beer is about 1 gram per gallon to clarify. For me, I use an 8 gallon size these days so it works perfect. One bag will do the whole process for me. Now this experiment it worked out pretty well because I could do 5 gallon keg clarified and a 3 gallon keg untreated. So really we have an apples to apples comparison on how effective is the use of gelatin. Now to use the gelatin you don't just throw it right in the beer. You have to reconstitute it in water. There's a lot of videos out there that show how to do this, but I'll go over it just briefly here. Essentially, you take the gelatin, you add it to water, let it sit for about, you know, half hour, 45 minutes. Once that's done, you gently stir it, and then you're gonna warm the water up to about 150 degrees, typically in the microwave, maybe 10 seconds at a time. You slowly wanna walk it up. You don't wanna get it too hot or it starts to solidify. So, right around 150, you'll see the uh, liquid's crystal clear, it's ready to go, and then you simply dump it into your already cold beer. You can do this either at the keg level, or I like to do it right into the fermenter, kind of being lazy just as soon, get all that work done, so once I actually keg the beer, I'm done, ready to carbonate and, and good to go. So in the video you'll see different day sequences of the different beers that I've done this with to see the results for yourself. I've done it with a Pilsner, a Pilsner I did with a lemon drop hop, that was nice. Did it with this particular beer, which is a summer pale, crystal clear. I've done it with IPAs as well. So the big question that comes up a lot is, are you sacrificing anything? Does the use of gelatin compromise the flavor? And I'll say this, in my opinion, no. I haven't noticed anything whatsoever. I've read a lot about it, and it's one of those things where some folks say, oh, I can maybe tell a difference. Some prefer it, some don't. Some can't tell the difference. It's just one of those variables that's really hard to pin down. So I'd say this, go ahead and watch the video, YouTube on some of the other ones that show the process in more depth. Try it yourself and see what you get. For me, I'm pretty pleased with it. I'll continue to use this in uh, probably the better part of the beers that I do and um, enjoy the, the process of doing it. So thanks as always for watching. Take a look at the pictures I'm about to show. Feel free to comment. Take care. The first photo here is of the Pilsner a couple days after the gelatin was added. You can see how clear it is by that highlighter behind it. The same beer on the back window ledge, just for a different perspective. Here's a, the lemon drop uh, Pilsner. And here it is after a couple days have gone by since the gelatin added. Crystal clear. The final one is going to be of the summer pail that I did. This is out of the three gallon keg, untreated. This is the same beer out of the five gallon keg that was treated. And the two side by side. And in my opinion, the one on the left is just so much more inviting. So I'll close with one final shot just to show how thorough this process really is. Give it a shot. See what you think.